Hello, I am from 4H Screen, and today we will be talking about our upgraded strafer chassis. We saw that GoBuilder made a video about their strafer chassis and upgrades that they suggested making for uh, this season. And so we decided to make our own video with our strafer chassis and the advantages that it has over the ones, the GoBuilder one. We designed these axle spaces which clamp onto the axle so that it can prevent the wheel from the shaft from sliding in and out of the, from sliding forward and backwards. And so that prevents, if the miter, if the set screws come out of the miter gear, it prevents it from sliding back and forth. And if it does, the whole shaft, if it slides this way, it'll only have the one connection point and it'll wobble around a bunch and it will ruin the meshing between the two miter gears here and if it does that it can a just like not mesh and the wheel won't turn and we've actually also binded up this whole uh, system here and destroyed a motor another modification we did to this chassis is we installed go rails the go rails can allow us to slide up and down and allow for any angle that we want on the go rail by using a motor mount. Also what this would do is we could have any amount of width that we wanted by just cutting the U-channel. We chose to keep the U-channels around the motor so that we can protect the motor from getting knocked out of place by any other Alliance robots. An improvement of our, for our robot is that it is higher off the ground so it can go over the shipping elements. This allows us to strafe off the shipping elements which stops us from taking too many shipping elements at a time. If you like what you saw today, a link to the step file of our chassis, STL files of our 3D printed parts, and the Go Build a video mentioned earlier are in the description. Please let us know what you think of our design by leaving a comment. We'd also like to hear what other teams are doing, so let us know if you have any ideas that you came up with that we didn't use in our chassis. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Should I say like, hello, this is 4H Screen? And and in that, <laughs> our robot is uh, is taller. I don't know. STL files over 3D printed parts and the go build a yeah.